Well, <clears throat> this is Eric, and uh, it's that time of year. So, uh, trying to kind of finish things up. I've started moving stuff into my greenhouse and moved all the citrus trees um, last weekend. And then today I started putting some of the fig trees that I wanted to give a little extra time to in here. Um, now this is a real luxury for me because I can extend my season both in the spring and, um, towards the end of the year like this. So, um, I, I don't think all of these trees will end up staying in here. I'll probably pull quite a few of them out after they're fully, fully done, but I wanted to give some of these you know, at least a, a fighting chance to ripen some more fruit. Um, this one's called, uh, Abazia. Um, I, uh, I've ripened one or two off of this tree so far. Um, but it's, it's got quite a few and I, I don't know if any beyond that one will, will ripen. It looks like maybe this one will. Um, but you know, it's, it's fairly decently warm in here. Um, the drawback for this is I got to water these and I, I don't really want to, um, <laughs> I'm tired of watering trees. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man. I'm still coughing from being sick. It's crazy. Um, so this one here, this is a black Tuscan, um, and it's, um, I don't think I ripened this one last year. I think this is, this will be the first year it's ripened. Um, I've got several different black Madeira types. Um, as far as I can tell, they're all the same, um, or they're similar enough that you don't need a bunch of them. <sighs> um... Let's see, this one down here, this one starting to get soft. That's called the uh, Brochiotto Nero. Um, that's a Palo Bologna fig. Got that one from Harvey. Uh, um, <clears throat> I got my Figo Preto in here. It's only got three figs on it. Um, you know, not all of these are, are super fruitful yet. I think they'll get there though. Um, this one is probably going to drop all its leaves. Um, I don't want to keep it <clears throat> so warm that I get a big flush of new growth this late in the year. So I got to be careful about like, you know, making sure I leave like the window open at night so that it cools off in here. I just want to give it some extra daytime temperature. So, um, but all the citrus looks like it's doing pretty well. Um, <clears throat> let's see, my Martinique Ramada, I moved it in here because it, um, honestly, I, I think the, the lack of water that it was getting was slowing it down. It's fully lignified, so I, I think it's just stalled. Um, but yeah, this is, this is where I'm at with stuff. Um, <clears throat> some of these I'm going to leave in here over the winter, um, just because they're, they're pretty green. Um, even though they're a little bit bigger, I've got some of these, they're like in a 10 gallon pot. Um, but they're, they're pretty, I mean, pretty green. So, um, this one's really green. Um, you know, we'll see. Um, the plan moving forward after I give some of this stuff a, a decent chance to, to ripen, um, I'll transition some of those back out of here and, uh, I'll move in some more of the stuff that's more of the, the unlignified, uh, newer trees and some of the smaller stuff. Um, I've got quite a few in like two gallon pot size. I've got a few cuttings that I rooted over the, the summer 
or late into the summer that I want to put in here. Um, and, and that's, that's just, you know, that's maintenance. Um, they'll either go in here or they'll go maybe in my garage. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, like I said, it's, it's winding down and, um, hopefully everything just goes to sleep and we don't have any big issues. Um, if I need to, I can put a little space heater out here. Um, it's not hard to do. Uh, I did that a little bit last year cause we had some, some pretty cool weather. Uh, I got down into the high teens a few times. So I just wanted to more than anything, just keep my citrus from, from getting too cold. Um, but I've got uh, quite a few little pomegranate starts that I'm going to put out here. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for the season. I, I don't think anything else out in the yard is going to do anything. So, all right. Take care. See you around. See you on the next one. And uh, wish me luck with all the puppy shenanigans. They, um, <laughs> they got this one. I found this one depotted up on my deck uh, with the puppy chewing on it. That's a, uh, hopefully it's it's still going to be a, a cold dom grease, but, uh, yep, it is what it is. You gotta love huskies. All right, take care.